Hey, what up everybody? Yep, I'm back again. Not a build video. Just try to change things up. Uh, Firecrest this time. DPS 254.7 Toughness 264.5 Skill power 215.9 um, Works pretty good. I haven't tested it out in the uh, dark zone yet. I did some PvP of PvE, um, works works really really well. It holds them off, it does damage, it eats armor. It's um, it's a good build, it's tough enough so um, definitely uh, recommend this one. Um, for this one I'm using a G36, um, 24 enemy army damage. I'm in love with enemy army damage so I, I suggest everybody get that up as high as possible so yeah. G36 it is for me. Uh, it has deadly, so it gives me that critical hit damage, 15% extra, I love that. Uh, destructive for the enemy army damage and adapt. Adapt is a good skill. Um, I was actually going for um, responsive or unforgiving for this one because I wanted to use this one on my uh, enemy army shredder build. But I have my police M4 that works pretty well on that one. But I think I'll keep this one for um, my Firecrest build. For my secondary, I'm using the MG5. Um, simply because I was do doing some PvE. And an uh, LMG works pretty well on that one. Um, I won't recommend this one doing Dark Zone. But pistol didn't change anything. Like everybody knows, pistol with harmful, blah, blah, blah. Or you're doing that 9 uh, talent glitch on your alpha build. But I'm I'm not like that. Fuck fuck that. Um, for my chest piece, I'm using a vigorous um, armor, health, ammo capacity. High rolls on electronics, but I use the same one on my um, seeker mine build. So with high armor, electronic mods. My mask. I'm doing skill power. I could go higher on my electronics roll, but this was like the stuff I had in my stash box. I just wanted to see if I can make another build with the stuff that I have in my stash. And yes, I did. So, electronics roll could, could go higher. I like the uh, base armor, 965, that's good. Um, skill power pretty much maxed. I think 10,000 something, 10,008 is, um, is the max. So, uh, Good on skill power, enemy army damage reaches cap, so I love that. It's cool. For my knee pads, um, it's 1264 stamina with 1210 armor and 11% enemy army damage. I wanted to go for disrupt also, but like like I said previous, like I don't have that stuff in my stash. Um, pretty much good uh, good knee pads though. For my backpack, I'm using the Relentless. Um, that is because every every percentage my of every damage my turret. So give me a give me a break. Fucking tired, okay. So every damage my turret does, it grants me heals. So let's say they down me and my turret catch them on fire, and they can't punch me. That it might get me up before they punch me. So it's it's kind of it's kind of an extra save. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend the Relentless if you run a Firecrest build. Uh, I have another Relentless <coughs> that instead of armor I have the um, skill power. It adds me, like it gives me um, enough skill power, especially if you put the mod on. Um, but then again, I've, I've been playing like less than 50 armor mitigation and with this right now I'm doing 53 something I like to have more uh, toughness because um, they simply need to survive though and the heals aren't coming back as quickly if you run completely squishy so you wanna you wanna you wanna take some damage well you don't wanna take some damage but you you like you know what I mean um, 
fly arms, gloves. Nano 9, pretty low on the base armor, but overall good, uh, good stats, 1226, high uh, fly arms roll. Salt and crit damage and crit chance, so definitely uh, need that stuff. Holster is pretty good, kind of low on firearms, but um, that was too bad actually because now I needed to use a firearms mod with armor to unlock my destructive. But who knows, who knows, maybe I'll find another one with a higher firearms roll, but for now this is what I... This is what I have, so this is what I'm showing you guys, it's just an idea. I'm not saying this this is perfect, it could be better, it could be worse, I don't know. But um, for now, I think this is this is pretty good. My weapon damage is 16.8, well you know that your weapon damage increases by 15% against targets on fire. So if you take 15% of 16.8, that's 2.52. So you add 2.52, that you will come 19.4, something like that. 19.4, that's, that's overall like an average amount of damage for someone who's only rocking one firearm, uh, firearm piece. That's pretty good. So 14 chance with 110 damage. With 87 headshot damage, well, because I'm using the G36, it's very stable and it's very easy to land those headshots. So uh, that's um, pretty good. So you look at the enemy armor damage right now, it's 59. Well, everybody knows by now that 60 is the cap. You can go up, you can go up to 70 if you, if you use Striker to give you that 10% extra enemy armor damage. Um, if I would have knee pads with 12%, I would have reached my cap. I maxed out on all my enemy armor damage. So yeah, I'm very happy with um, with the 254 even though it's not much but considering the 15% extra damage on targets on fire I am doing pretty well plus I'm using the boosty shot as well so my DPS goes well over 300 I think 311 out of my head so I'm pushing 300 DPS still with, uh, with around 20 something like that well I can do the mat in a minute but like you know it's gonna do damage so plus the turret's gonna do damage so it could be very very helpful uh skills all this blah 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 enemy army damage of armor mitigation is 5368 um i have a barret people say why don't you use a barret it increases your skill power and yes true definitely true but you know what, I'm going to go in detail why I'm not using the barrage right now. So, so you can see right now, um, I use my barrage, my skill power goes up, my toughness goes down, right? So if I go to my turret, right now you say, oh, your turret man is doing 10k damage, that's pretty good. Yes, it is pretty good, and if I switch back quickly to my vigorous, you'll see that my turret damage is 9.2 out of my head see 9.2 so why are you crazy why are you not using the barrage you got more skill power yes I, re I recommend barrage um, on seeker mines sticky bombs whatever because the cooldown starts after they blow up but the thing with your turret is as soon as you drop it your cooldown starts straight away so if I go back to my barrage right now And I drop my flame turret, you see it goes in, it's going on cooldown. Then you see that my damage is only 9.1. 9.1. So, I don't like that. So when I pop my booster, so I got two, two skills on cooldown, you see that my uh, toughness is 327 with 307 DPS, right? So keep that in mind, just memorize this. So I'm switching back to my Vigorous right now. <coughs> Let me wait for my booster. Right, here we go. 
So as you can see, it's my toughness is 311 with 307. The DPS is the same, right? It's exactly the same. Toughness, just 10k less. So if I if I go if I look at the cooldowns right now, you see that the turret has a 29 second cooldown. So that means that I can be tougher for 29 seconds, right? That's that's the talent if I have two skills on cooldown. My bushy shot comes back 27.8 seconds. So if I manage to play around, plus I get the overdose. Don't 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 forget that with the booster on the vigorous, I get the overdose. With the barrets, I don't. So I'm using the booster on the barrets right now. I could go for overdose, but it doesn't give me extra at all. No extra DPS, no blah blah blah. So I'm just comparing this with the booster shot. It's pretty much the same. I can heal myself with, with that. Yes, my toughness goes up, but it's only a 10k difference. So I don't see the point. So I prefer having a booster shot with the overdose. Then I actually rock with the, um, with the Barrett. Plus I have a 9.2 damage on my vigorous chest piece. And with the Barrett I have a 9.1. So I don't like the numbers, maybe because my Barrett ain't ain't the best yet i haven't found a better so no i'm not using this barret if i found a better one maybe but for now no i'm not using it so it's a vigorous um for my talents i'm using critical safe strike back wildfire and over here on the move um, I'm just in love with on the move and I'm in love with the uh, critical save. I'm never changing those talents. This is um, my personal favorite. So this is me. This is my opinion. Um, with the fire crest, I am definitely going to use wildfire. Applying burn to any target triggers a 30% chance to per each target in a 10 meter radius. This comes in um, comes in handy very very often. Uh, that means that you can just simply do more damage to multiple targets. So it's a good thing to have. Um, when I run solo, I just been running Lexington. So yeah, I was running solo. Um, I use Strike Back for this one. I'm not using Adrenaline because I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling Adrenaline that much. Strike Back, you reach low health. I'd rather have my booster than a medkit. Uh, in a team. I will definitely play with this, so the talents will be critical, safe, combat, medic, wildfire, and on the move. But then again, this is what I will, what I'm using if I run in the in the DZ. Uh, just my opinion. You have probably different opinions, um, different ideas how you should run the Firecrash build. Uh, if you do. Um, just let me know in the comments how I can improve my build if you don't think this is good enough. Uh, if you think it's good enough, then you can place a comment too. Wood tanks, love it, cool. Uh, anything like that. Give a like, give a dislike. You can hate, you can call me an idiot, or do whatever you want. But this, I'm just doing this for the people uh, who don't know how to make a good build. So um, I am trying to make multiple builds by different gear sets. But um, you know how the division is, it's hard uh, by giving you good, good amount of gear and I'm not going to show you like, like a 50-50 good gear or good build, uh, it has to be like good pretty much min-maxed. Um, otherwise I will simply not show it to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, like I told you before, just uh, place them in the comments below and um, I will answer them definitely. Hope you uh, hope to see you guys on the next video. See you later.